YouTube, this is the top 16 of the new pack day. We got purely top tier. Rescue Aces maybe, probably not the new best deck, but maybe it is. We'll see within the top 16. I don't know the breakdown yet. And by watching as long as you can, that greatly supports me, having me on in the background, whatever you're doing, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Thank you so much. Hajime. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. We have Droll in Lockbird. I talked about Droll and Lockbird being extra disruption against Snake Eyes now that they have Bonfire if they choose to open up with Bonfire. We have the Divine Temple setting up the pop-up from the deck, Normal Summoning the Ash, which we can't activate to add any card from the deck. Activating the Summon a Flame Burst from the deck as the Frame Gear Gamma negates and destroys the Ash. We didn't want to draw one off of the Maxi there. We're going to hold it for the next turn instead. Wow. Droll and Lockbird against Bonfire. That is the way. Now, Danny Nader, the semi-limited Cynet Mining and the semi-limited Parallel Exceed. What is Mastodol doing? Fully unlimited Circular send from the deck to the Grave Sigma to Special Summon as the Maxi will now be drawing per Special Summon. Do we finger the Sigma or do we allow the Special Summon? Triggering the effect of the Divine Temple to summon our Ash. We're not adding a Pop Art and then Special Summon. We are, in fact, fingering and negating the Sigma. Now, we could Linger Rebo into Parallel Exceed, which is draw three, and then draw four if you do something with the Parallel Exceed. Because of Max C, we have to go for game. I think we're taking the Max C challenge. Draw one, <laughs> draw two, draw three, unless we uh, Ash or Veiler. We are negating. We are not going to keep on drawing here. Splash Mage, draw three. I mean, we have to. We're committed. We know we lose next turn. It's do or die. Splash Mage Reborn, Veiler Negate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Negate! Uh, Danny, maybe just surrender, but uh, no. If you want to keep on playing, that's fine. Let's keep on going. Uh, battle phase we go. That's the best we could do. All right. Let's speed this up as we for sure have lethal damage. Let's do this. All right, Victanium, the most efficient way to lethal damage. What is the way... Let's uh, assume maybe they have a Nibiru in the hand, right? You're on summon number three. Can you do this uh, uh, playing around Nibiru? Poplar equip into the back row. We have original Sinful summon from the deck. Okay, so now we are in the Nibiru zone. Reborn from the opponent's graveyard. Lingaribo Shokan into now. We got the anti-Nibiru as we perform our lethal play. Jet Synchron, discard Flame Burst, Flame Burst trigger. Reborn two level one fires from the grave. Uh, yep, let's go. All right, nicely done. Let's hop into game number two. We're gonna Dotscaper link it off to then trigger its effect to Reborn from the graveyard. Let's speed this up a bit since there's no disruption. What is good? Uh, we, uh, you know, it's like, uh, where is Super Factorial, huh? Well, anyway, we have a Spell and Trap card negate and uh, like, that's, that's it? Huh? Uh, we have Ash, we have Nibiru, and we have a trigger negate through the aggregator? Uh, okay. Can we play through all the, the four of those disruptions? All four. Two of them being in the hand. Ash, not being negated by Ash. Terror hurts. So what you do here, the aggregator gets sent. Then the Poplar as the turn player will be chain link one. Chain link two will be aggregator, thus negating the Poplar from searching. Okay, it works out. Disruption number one. Negates. Didn't even activate the Poplar. It's a hard one for... Wow. So, so if we wanted to use another Poplar, we now can. So uh, very interesting. Making sure to not use that hard once for turn activation. Very smart. We have Phoenix to get rid of that impermanence. Nope, it's a red gecky. Discard Flame Burst to summon our Diablo Star. Diablo Star set up a card from the deck. Flame Burst come forth and summon two monsters from the grave. We have to save Worm to negate the original Sinful, but there's a, a subversion instead that we're going to be negating from pushing our card back into the back row. Now we also have to be worried about that Nibiru. When do we whip that out? Oak reborn from the graveyard. We are definitely in that Nibiru zone. Now, the Divine Temple and to save Worm. Would that negate the activation? Let's read that real quick. Your opponent activates a card. You could banish this card. Yes, this would stop the field spell from being on the field. It does not negate the effect. We have Promethean Princess. 
Reborn from the graveyard, nothing as Nibiru is going to tribute the field as Crossout Designate negates the Nibiru as the Deceive Worm negates the Crossout Designate. Just like that. Negate. Negated. Tribute the field. And we just have Ash. Okay. When are we whipping out that Ash? Set up the Flame Burst into the back row. Subversion, push that Nibiru back. If we normal or special summon, that will trigger the Divine Temple to special summon a Flame Burst, which will not turn into Disruption, but we have Droplet. We pretty much just have Droplet. When do we use Droplet? We have Valor into Almirage. Reborn from the Graveyard Equation. Circular back on the field here. Link this up into our G Golem, which could Reborn Transcode Talker. But the Promethean Princess is going to wipe it out before that happens, triggering the Flame Burge off of that destruction. Reborn from the Grave, Ash and Oak, uh, neither of them activating. And just like that, it is over. 2-0 victory, knocking them out. Bonfire, so we're going to have to be playing only through in a Ghost Bell. We have Poplar being triggered, special summon onto the field here, grabbing an original Sinful. We're going to link this up into our Link Karibo, setting up the Poplar into the back row. We then original Sinful, special summon a Hydrant from the deck because we're probably not playing Ash in this build. That's right. So we have not used up our normal summon yet. Searching our deck for the Air Lifter. Air Lifter gets search and searching our deck for an emergency. Emergency summon from the deck. Come forth. Turbulence. Turbulence is here, sending another card we controller from the hands of the grave. That is a Rescue Ace. So I was thinking that would the better play within Master Duel be to maybe send the Hydrant from the hand, make a Mascarina, make an Elf, Elf protect Turbulence from being targeted, then activate Turbulence to play around something like an Impermanence or a Veiler. Now, Imperm can't be played in a Super Heavy Samurai deck, but in general, would that be better? But then I, I guess you're probably playing into Nibiru instead, yeah? Setup four, we have Contain and Extinguish. We're going to be using the alert to search our deck or graveyard, thus the ghost bell will be negating. Finger the bell, negates. We need our preventer. Set four. I think that Turbulence is good modern card design where, you know, is set four healthy? Probably not, but is it better to do it through one card than 20 different interactions waiting 15 to 20 minutes on their turn one to do so, or to just have it be on that one card? Reprodocus, what are you doing? Reprodocus, turning the Hydrant into a Cybers to then make a Decoder. Link this up into a Protect Code Talker, triggering the Link Decoder Reborn from the Grave. Preventer Banish to come forth and summon. Okay. We're then going to be making a Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon can return a monster in our graveyard back to our hand. We're going to be triggering the effect of the Preventer Reborning the Banish Hydrant. Protect Code Talker, resummoning onto the field because there's a Firewall Dragon. Add back the Airlifter and the Graveyard back to our hand, as I said we could do, as we then make a Terror Hertz. Terror Hertz will send a Deceive Worm for the Spell and Trap card negate, and let's go. How many disruptions do we have? So uh, notice how we chose to not make the Promethean Princess line. Is this better? This will have the Aggregator triggered negate. It's going to have the Deceive Worm Spell and Trap card negate. Extinguish, pop a card, pop a monster that is contained, negate a monster. And we have Rescue to Rescue Preventer. Yeah, we have about five disruptions. Can we play through five as Super Heavy Samurai? No, we cannot. <laughs> We're out of here. All right, uh, a Valiant Effort. Thank you, Gera. Let's hop into game two. We have the Wagon put to defense, activate to search. Will Ash negate? Yes, it will, but we got Wakashi follow-up. Let's speed this up. I think we're doing the Archfiend Calamity play, yes? And this is it. As long as the Crimson Dragon is used on Chainlink 1, you win. We can't. Uh, Impermit, it's untargetable. What do we do? We're going to chain Wanted Seeker. Sure. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Baron to floor. Negate. Emergency being chained to the Baron to floor negate. Summon from the deck a an Impulse. Okay, the Impulse will not be able to activate, though. As we then discard our Preventer. And this is it. 
Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity is here. You cannot chain to its activation. So we're gonna chain link blocker Master Waru to draw three, as you then can't chain to this and then you can't activate anything on the field. That's it. No activation on the field. You can activate something that would activate in the hand, like a monster effect that discards. You can activate from the grave, activate from the banish. Elf Reborn, the motorbike. It, remember that all the other cards cannot be attacked into as long as the Master Waru has the Peacemaker equipped onto it. Stardust Dragon is here. <laughs> and that's the end. Very well done. Gera winning with Stardust Dragon. That's a quick surrender. You surrendered within the resolution of this was going to then turn into a level 10 synchro. Wow. Emergency. To qualify for the $1,000 tournament, you have to get top 32 in any of the meta weeklies from now until the tournament happens. So there'll be a few more. Double enemy controller, which is not disruption unless we were to have set our max C. Probably better to keep that max C. We have draw and lockbird to stop max C, but can we successfully draw and lockbird our own plays? We're holding onto the max C because gamma is prevalent within Super Heavy Samurai. This is when we max C in response to the activation of the booster, boosting itself onto the field. Do we droll ourselves? That's the big question. Do we droll? Droll will turn off Piercer from being able to search. We do, in fact, droll ourselves. Droll in Lockbird, thus, you are not going to be able to be drawing off the max C. I'm not going to be able to add cards from our deck to the hand, which is what the Soul Piercer continually does. The Genius searches for the Regulus. We can't make that play anymore. Shokan into our Baron de Flor. The Droll's going to keep on popping up on the screen there. Taking out the enemy controller. Put the Baron de Flor into defense. Ain't no way. We could try to take control of that Baron de Flor next turn, though. That's something. Now, enemy controller going second could be pretty good because it could dodge cards like Impermanence and Veiler on your Turbulence. You activate, then chain, get stealing. But then if you see that in game one, maybe you'll activate your Imperm or Veiler early to stop something like that from happening. All right, Ash off the top of the deck. We have Subversion to force the negate of the Baron to floor. Negate. Do we summon Ash? Econ take. And then what? What? Oh my God, we actually do it. Taking that Baron to floor, you could target itself. <laughs> okay, sure. We didn't even want to attack. We just, all right, sure. Baron to floor dead now. Now, Wakashi does not want the Benki into the other pendulum scale because it then can't activate. We're going to be searching for the Soul Horns. Gera, you have to just win here. If you don't win here, it's a DQ. We got Peacemaker equipped, Tribute Zone from the deck. We got Wakashi Shokan into the Saratobi. 8,000 life points, taking out the back row contain. Pendulum Shokaning into now making the Masuwaru. We have Scarecrow reborn from the graveyard as the Piercer searches for a security. Discard reborn the Soul Horns. Soul Horns equip onto the Masuwaru. That's double attack for game, double 4K. Gera with the 2-1 victory. Very well done. Rescue Ace bricked. I don't know what to say. It bricked. Begin. Huh? Yeah, Oak is not a combo starter. We couldn't get the opponent to activate a monster effect to use our triple tactics talent on to draw two. We have Imperm and Max C though. Okay. Ash Blossom negate the Max C? No. We are not negating Max C. We're going to hold Ash for something else. We're just going to swing with the Magna Hut, set up with our Super Palmerization, and let's go. Now, the Ash would have been negated by the Cross Out Designate. Cross Out Designate can negate the Max C or Ash here. Do we Max C on the resolution before it's special summoned? Yes, we do. We don't care about Gamma. Now, you could say that we are not really playing to Gamma when you have an Ash because Ash can negate the Gamma. That would be negating the Max C. Cross out Designate, negate the Max C. Ghost Bell could also negate a Gamma. So if you have Ash or Ghost Bell plus Max C, it could be okay to use your early Max C into Gamma. Discard Bell to summon our Diablo Star. Setting up into the back row our original Sinful Spoils, which the Ash is going to be ready for to negate. Yes, negate. The original Sinful. We can follow up Triple Tactics Talent into draw two. This will be big here. Super Poly ready to fuse the field though. How disruptive will Super Poly be against Snake Eye? What the heck was that? We did not draw anything good. We're gonna go for another draw. 
Wow. Why are you so bricky? You have like 21 card stars. You got Bonfire, Ash Ash, Poplar, Diablo Star, Seekers. I, you know, I guess the Diablo Star play got messed up. Uh, wow. Hmm. Lubalian search in our deck for our Serenir. Tribute the Magna Hut to reborn our Lubalian here. Set up into the back row a branded spell trap as the Imperm not only negates the Lubalian, but the Super Poly will then also be negated for the rest of the turn. Yep, yep, yep. Albion going for a draw one as we send a Fallen Albast to the Graveyard, randomly drawing into our fusion deployment. Reveal the Gangor Note, a special summon to Cartesia. Serenir banishing from the opposing Graveyard Diablo Star. To battle we go, 6,500 damage. It just like that, lethal as Snake Eye just hard bricked. Unbelievable. We drew three. Triple Tactics Talent, Seeker, didn't draw into Bonfire, didn't draw into Ash, nothing. Wanted Seeker grabbing a Diablo Star. When are we whipping out that Max C? Why is it so random when we choose? I guess it's not. We played into Gamma because we had Ash. We don't have Ash, so now we respect the Gamma. To be fair, it's fair. Okay, it is being consistent. I believe people started taking Kurikara out of their deck, but because of purely receiving Baby Noor, Kurikara is now back in the deck. We even saw someone playing Book of Eclipse, probably because of purely, which we have not seen in today's tournament yet. So the disruptions we have here are, the Mascarina will be able to go into a four negate Apollo USA. We have Promethean Princess. We have Impermanence. We're not gonna count the finger as a disruption. Can we play through six? Let's do it. The Herald of the Abyss could deal with the Apollo USA, so four of those disruptions will be wiped out. Let's go. Flame Burrs reborning the Mascarina from the back row within the draw phase here. Mascarina required to be used within the main phase for that four material quadra negate, which we already said the Herald of the Abyss is going to be good for. Herald of the Abyss with triple tactics thrust. That's another way to deal with the X Purely Nora. A lot of people are. I'm seeing more people afraid of Purely than Rescue Ace today. I mean, what are, what would people be main decking more because of Rescue Ace? Maybe Valor would be the response to Rescue Ace releasing today. But otherwise, I've been seeing Book of Eclipse, Curry Kara, Herald of the Abyss because of Purely. Grab the Subversion for next turn. Poplar, get equipping. Duster and Evenly is going to be the anti-Rescue Ace. As we said, get rid of that Apollo USA. We just have Promethean Princess and the Impermanence. Can we play through double disruption? And we have the finger. Do we finger Serenir? We have Divine Temple being triggered to some of the flame burst in the back row. We are gonna imperm negate the Gangrenol from sending a card to the graveyard. And we're gonna finger the Serenir. So the reasoning could be that we do not want them to add a branded fusion from the graveyard to the hand. They're gonna send Retribution. They're gonna send the branded fusion to add it back. So we just gotta stop it. And they already used up the normal summon. So the Alibur can't be summoned. No Branded Fusion for you. Negate. We still have Promethean Princess ready for a pop on a special summon. $1,000 tournament with side deck, and it is single elimination. And if you have the pro player role in the Master Duel Discord, you're automatically invited. Otherwise, get top 32 in any of the Mad Weeklies. Even if your sub falls off afterward, you're still invited in the tournament. Subversion, push the Gangrenol into the back row. The Branded Sword is nothing. We have nothing. We are nothing. Snake Eyes, please beat us. Let's go. Speed this up. What are the chances of Fire King Consort coming with the new Fire King cards? Well, uh, isn't that something? Lethal damage! Consort gives Fire King the ability to be played pure, right? That is the pure way. Fusion Deployment, we have Valor, which the Cartesia is used to play around the Valor to protect things like Alibur and even your Branded Fusions, but we're going to use the Valor on the Cartesia itself since we need it to make a main play with the Serenir to then set up and essentially grab a Branded Fusion from the Grave back to our hand. So that effect Valor stopped all of that. We have Imperm in the draw phase, making sure to toggle on to use that before the main phase happens where this would have been activatable. 
And now we just have our Bestials against Snake Eyes. The Bestial against Snake Eyes will be good against Mascarina. When the Flame Burge is targeting the Mascarina, that's when you want to banish it. But we should probably still get lethal, right? That's what I'm thinking. Well, the Bestial could help block lethal. This will be interesting. But we could banish the Diablo Star to block lethal damage in the battle phase. So how do we play around that? Link Karibo, trigger the Poplar, set up into the back row. Ash sent itself plus the Poplar to summon the Oak from the hand. Reborn from the grave, the Ash. Oak sent itself plus the Flame Burst to summon a Flame Burst from the deck. Now, do we use Flame Burst to push the Cartesia into the back row? Yes, we do. Oh, I mean, we thought we had game just like that, right? We stopped cooking, but there are Bistials in the hand. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get blocking. Uh-oh, that's a problem. We undercooked. We still have another Bistial for the Mascarina, but we already used Flame Burge to try to go for lethal. So we can't even set up that Mascarina. Shokan this up into the Ambla Whale. Our only disruption is Promethean Princess. Do we banish that Link Karibo? I guess, why not? Because the Mascarina is not usable anyway. Let's go. Very nicely done. All right, let's get to it. Only Promethean Princess is what we have to worry about. Well, uh, uh, we could finger her. Oh my gosh. Uh, Anaconda gets fingered. Our finger does nothing. That is a big deal. Trigger the Druid Swarm, send the Ambla Whale. Wait. You're not Promethean Princessing an Anaconda. You're saving it for something else? Huh? You know I have a finger? Maybe you know. Grand Fusion Send. We have to go straight into a Mirror Jade here. I, I guess we're saving the Promethean for the Mirror Jade. Yeah. Now, you get fingered. I, I guess it, it, you could argue that it was better to wait because the Anaconda locks you at a special summoning for the rest of the turn, so commit to your final special summon, then deal with that final special summon. But then we have cards like Mercurior activatable if we want, if we didn't have to use our finger. We're not even fingering. Interesting. We're just uh, letting Mirror Jade die. Sure. Okay. Retribution, add back the Brain Infusion to be used during the next turn. The Banishment can reborn the Mirror Jade. Titan Clad can only add. Was this worth fingering? Don't you need to finger the Mirror Jade uh, for, so the Banishment doesn't reborn it? I, I guess we didn't search the Banishment, but you could maybe assume it. This can't even be Special Summoned because of Anaconda. We we're adding. So if you're afraid of them uh, making like an Albaz play with your uh, princess into another Mirror Jade, it couldn't have happened. And now we're fingerless to the Banishment reborning the Mirror Jade to non-target monster banish. And not only, not only do we have a non-target monster banish, we also have a Mercurior negate. So double disruption plus a finger. Uh, wait, do we have another Albaz? We have a, a third disruption. Now Albaz can be reborn to fuse with the opponent's field. Triple disruption, not counting the finger. Grabbing the Ash, we could negate the Ash normal summon effect. And the Mercurior negates the effect, not the card. It could then use the other effect to summon from the deck. We're going to finger the Ash in the grave. Negate. Fully negated, can't summon from the deck, can't search from the deck. Huge. And we still have triple disruption. We could banish, we could negate, we could fuse with the opponent's fields. Mercurior, negate. Non-target monster banish plus Albaz fusion summon from the grave. We're ending our turn. We don't even need to. Rinbrum reborn that Albaz. We discarding Brandon Fusion? No, we are not. We're gonna hold on to that. There is an activatable. Uh, no, the princess is gone. She's banished. There's nothing. Albion is here sending a Lubellion from the deck to grave here. Banish from the grave, trigger the Mercury to search her deck for an Albaz monster as we make a Lubellion. Lubellion on summon, discard the Branded Sword. Branded Sword, add back the Mercury for the monster negate to be usable again. Mate. Oh my gosh, Constanza is just watching in awe. I mean, he knows he lost, but that's okay. We want to see the plays, right? Furious Dragon in the extra monster zone to make room. Popping the Lubellion, wiping out the Diablo Star, adding back that Mercury as I said we would do. We still have, we could summon the Quem if we want to. Negate the Diablo Star from reborning from the grave after it was sent to the grave. No summon for you. Good timing on that Branded Sword to make sure to add that back at the right time. 
We have the Divine Temple stealing your Cartesia. I mean, you, there's no way you could fuse a Cartesia. You don't have anything in your extra deck here. Albion sent to the graveyard, sent to the grave for a Linatus, triggering the Quen to reborn an Albion Shrouded Dragon. I've never seen that. What the heck are we doing? We have double attack with the Linatus. Open field over 12,000 damage. Branded advancing into the top eight. Abomod got top 10, I think, or top 16 of the last Duels Cup. So even after all of the branded hits and where Snake Eyes was prevalent, top 16. Good job, Abomod. Let's go. Pretty memory within the draw phase, playing around draw and Lockbird. We have Ash to negate that maxi. You're not going to stop our debut play with the brand new Purely card. Very nice. Come forth and sum for the deck. We have regular Purely, which is semi-limited. Top three of the deck here. This also plays around Valor and Droll. So you definitely want to be doing this in the draw phase. Now let's do it. What can we do? Regular Lily searching for the my friend purely. This is where you use the ash. We ash on the second activation because that is the effect. Negate. No search for you. We do have a regular purely happy memory. We do have triple sleepy. So, I, right, it's not limited at all. I don't believe so. So we would have been able to search for a guaranteed sleepy, then become the baby Nor, then equip with the purely happy, then set up the purely leap. Then we have the way to make the ex purely Nor. We had the play, but instead, we have Beauty. Beauty, which is going to be able to negate a monster in the field. We do have the ability to also change the battle position of a monster. So battle position, switch, and negates. Happy is going to make it indestructible. Oh my gosh. But the Ash is negating the effect to summon from the deck, but we weren't even planning on summoning from the deck. We just wanted to make you indestructible from the Vsauce. That's a counterplay that now just got stopped. Chain the max C to your special summon. I'm so sad that didn't work out because that would have been nice to see. I guess you could still battle phase swing, right? Battle phase swing, trigger the field spell and its effect still pops off. The rhyme heart is gonna be searching, chain link blocking with the meek. Also pop one ball, one pop, two balls. That's what happens. We're gonna summon two balls here, one from the grave, one from the deck. We are under max C. So Kidar, are you lethaling? under a monster negate one monster negate plus potential any other hand traps they may be drawing into let's do it excel start a synchro when do we whip out that beauty negate well now the negate gets negated okay maybe it would be better to hope that we draw into a nibiru so that we can nibiru they negate nibiru we then negate the negate the nibiru the field i think that's the cope so uh, probably holding on to the beauty was a good idea. But uh, yeah, bear in the floor pop, then we negate the pop. But then uh, do we, uh, yeah, we would have to uh, negate the negate anyway. So drawing into the Nibiru will be good. But we have to draw into it. <laughs> we can, where are hand traps? How many cards do we have in our hand? Nine? What is this? We're gonna have to look at your deck list after this because this is ridiculous. This'll force the, not force the beauty. Okay. Beauty of Pops will trigger the My Friend Purely to... Oh, unbelievable. What is it, like 12 cards in your hand? What does your deck list look like? Do you play hand traps? Do you even? We're not putting a card in the grave yet, so we could wait. There's no... Oppo this is the Ash check. The Ash choke point here. Add a pretty memory. Set up the Stray Purely Stree. Okay, we're really playing into that shifter, huh? Like we didn't even want to set up a beauty. That's something, that is something. That really is something, huh? What the heck? Really, senpai. Ending? <laughs> just ending? I'm confused, am I missing something? We're just all inning shifter? Okay, so now, by the way, when the balls get popped, they don't care if they're banished, they're still gonna trigger. The, this will grab a, a banished ball and the banished ball will still activate to summon from the deck. Now, uh, before it is being sent to the grave, uh, well, I should say before it's getting banished, it's, it will be sent to the grave because we're chain popping it before the resolution of your shifter. You did turn off your Valor, by the way. Valor is not activatable. Getting rid of our max since that's now dead. And as I said, one pop, two balls, even if they're banished, 
It does not care. Double balls back in the field from the deck, from the banishment. Are we about to get lethaled here under shifter? Probably Baron de Flor is now here. I think we put too much value into our shifter. Shifter is supposed to be an auto win against most decks, but not Monodium. The Star Six Cell is not going to be able to reborn from the graveyard, but it's okay. We already have a ball to synchro with. Dispater works with the Banish Pile. That's over 8,000 damage through Shifter. Yeah. Damn. I, you know, we all we all end our Shifter. We all end the Shifter. Kid Senpai, it was a risk. It was high risk, and uh, that's what happened. All right, let's go another game. Let's go. Reinforcing the army. We've got to play through just a Gamma. Just Gamma. Ash activates Search of the Poplar. Gamma negates. Just like that, mate. That is our normal summon. And are we ending our turn? Oh my gosh. I don't think we have any other play. <laughs> what? Four bricks in our hand? OV Raptor searching our deck for miscellaneous. Let's speed this up. Miscellaneous, banish from the graveyard, some for the deck, Arcosaur, pop the baby, baby trigger. I was thinking about Unchained should be able to pop babies, but they specifically put restrictions on Unchained because of the freaking baby itself. They do not want you playing it with dinos. Very well done. Good job, dinos. Uh, single disruption stopping the uh, new best deck. What do I think about Voiceless Voice? I think uh, it's going to be a new top tier deck with Ritual, and that's going to be exciting, yes? Ash, negate the Hydrant from searching for a monster. Preventer is going to likely be the card we would have searched for here. Reborn from the grave, our Flame Burge. Flame Burge equip a Mascarina. Then we make our Amblo Whale, set this up. What we have here is we're gonna have the ability to make an Apollo USA. We have Effect Veiler, we have Impermanence, we have Promethean Princess. We'll count up the disruptions as soon as the Apollo USA is made. Let's go. Now Misk, it's all about the Misk. We're unaffected from activated effects within the main phase. So this should be a big deal. We're gonna mask arena, come forth and summon. Now, while dinos are unaffected on the field, the dino and the grave can get negated by the Apollo USA. So you wanna to toggle on, summon the mask arena with the toggle on, then make Apollo, then negate the miscellaneous in the grave. That's a big deal. Yup, keep that toggle on, toggle on, toggle on. And now that Apollo is turning into another disruption, another, we have six disruptions. Triple Apollo, Veiler, Imperm, and Promethean Princess. Six. Can we play it through six? And maybe we're playing something like Herald of the Abyss because of Purely. Super Poly. Do we have a Super Poly play? Apollo and what else? What is this? That's not Apollo. That's a Moo Dragon. Okay. We can make our monsters untargetable, even though the dinos are already unaffected from activate effects. We just can't misc. The Apollo is going to eat up the misc. Ovi Raptor sent a giant Rex, banish giant Rex for the ultimate conductor Tyranno. We could swing over the Apollo. Giant Rex negated. Now uh, we could swing over it with multiple different monsters to then miscellaneous main phase two. So we have the Link Karibo to protect from one of the attacks. Poplar equipped the Flame Burge. Link Rebo, get reducing. That's not a targeting effect. And now we're down to Imperm, Veiler, and Promethean can't be summoned. So just two. All right. We, we didn't have a Misk play anyway. Wait, we banished the Misk. The, the Misk was used to summon our Ultimate Conductor. Imperm early on to the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno before it becomes untargetable due to the effect of the Moo Dragon. So the non target flip the whole field face down is not in effect. Curry Kara because you activated the Moo Dragon at 4,100 attack due to the field spell, boosting it by plus 11. Grabbing specifically a Jet Synchron, uh, that was not a random draw. We wanted that Jet Synchron. Ash is going to be sending itself plus the Flame Burst to summon the Poplar, triggering the effect of the Flame Burst and the Poplar, grabbing another original Sinful that cannot be activated again since we used the Engrave effect. Subversion pushing back the Conductor Tyranno. 
grabbing a Preventer with the Hydrant, tribute it for a Link Karibo, Banish and Rescue Ace from the Graver to summon our Preventer. Preventer, if sent to the Grave, would then reborn a Banish Rescue Ace, which we definitely do not need to do. Rescue Ace, Snake Eyes taking game two. Miscellaneous, this is when we Ash, this is when we get Fingered or Gammaed. Do we go for the Gamma play? We going for Gamma. And with the Gamma, do we have an Excel start a Synchro? Yep, you see that? The, this Gamma, you think it's a level eight Synchro, but it's actually a Baron to Floor. The new Evolzar. So I guess I got to root for you also. We have Omni Negate, negate a uh, negate anything, right? Card or effect, target a card, negate anything. It's an Omni Negate pretty much. Non-target flip the field face down. We have the Dolka, which is a double monster negate. We have five disruptions, not counting the finger. And we have one Imperm. Alrighty. Negate the Wanted Seeker. Wait, can this activate more than once in a turn? Yes, that's a double negate, six negates. It, yeah, because the materials are all dino and reptile, you have double omni negate. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. So six negates, now down to five after negating once. Imperm onto the non-target face down flippage. I see what you tried to do there. That could have worked on some people, uh, maybe on Dueling Book, but not here. This is not activatable because you have Hydrant. This, uh, you have to, has to be set through a Rescue Ace effect. Yeah. All right. Uh, we tried though. Negate. And uh, what is Birch going to do? Birch be Birchin. And now the contains not activatable even during the night. We out of here. We're out. Dinos would double negate on Lars. I love it. Very well done. Now, we made Baron to Floor with the Gamma, but don't we have to choose between Baron to Floor and Lars because we're using our level sixes to make the Lars instead of with a, uh, to make the Baron to Floor probably? I'm interested to see what the combo looks like without that early Baron with the Gamma. Rixia, starting off with our Diablo Star. We have to play around a Nibiru here. We're on summon number one. And then we're setting up the two level one fires. This could make an Apollo USA to negate that Nibiru, or we just go into Promethean Princess. So before Promethean, before Apollo USA, we Nibiru now, which the Flamebirds will then be triggered to off of the field spell. We can then one for one into Hydrant, and we keep on cooking. Cooking through Nibiru is happening. Right here, right now, we did the anti-Nibiru play correctly. The play you just witnessed is on the website under Snake Eyes, and you could check the, the play here. So uh, Diablo Star here, and then there you go. 1.5 card combo leads into that. There you go, there, there's multiple plays. Did I miss the one for one? Wait, are we not, we're not, oh, we're not Rescue Ace. Oops, wrong deck. We're pure Snake Eyes. Unfortunately, damn. I was hoping for some rescue ace action here. Instead, it's just regular old Snake Eyes. We have Flame Burge, Reborn the Mascarina, which will go into an Apollo USA. And then we have the Promethean Princess. We'll count up the disruption if the Apollo goes through. Chimera Fusion is a quick effect fusion play to go into the Guardian Chimera to pop cards in the field. Let's see what we could do. We're doing it right here, right now. Chain summoning, okay. Should we have done this in the draw phase? Oh, it's only main phase where it's activatable. Because the Masquerine is activatable in the main phase also. Get Fusion Shokan in into Guardian Chimera. This is pop one, draw two. We are chain link one. We're on the lower chain link. The Masquerine will be on the higher chain link. Whatever is summoned off the Masquerine will be indestructible from the Chimera. So let, oh, full field, triple negate. So we have or disruption. We have triple negate on the Apollo plus the Promethean Princess. Draw two, try to pop. You gotta pop that field spell, mate. You gotta pop that field spell. Not the Apollo. We tried. Finger the Flame Burge, that which turns off the Promethean Princess, by the way. Boom. No Promethean Princess play. And uh, nothing. Every, it's all gone. It's gone. Nothing. Poof. No disruption. 
Black Eyes return the White Beard and the Graver back to the hand. A special summon from the hand. Shokan into the Bran. Bran is here to then get rid of the field spell, which would have been popped with a Chimera. That's okay. We're then going to be discarding to Reborn the Golden Hair from the Grave. Red Beard is going to be equipping onto the Bran as you then Shokan into Black Beard. Black Beard, based on the attributes in the opponent's graveyard, we're going to be summoning a Light Monster. With our Light List, we could Reborn our Black Beard back onto the field. Do we also have a Dark Monster in the opposing graveyard? Oh my gosh, they have Light, they have Dark, they have everything. We're going to have the ability to banish an Effect Monster, negate a monster, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do. We also have Book of Eclipse. We're also going to draw a card here off the Blackbeard, maybe drawing into a Hand Trap. Negate and Banish. And we don't have Promethean Princess. Okay, yep. This is the Banish. Target Effect Monster and then Banish it. And Liss will negate a Monster Effect. So negate the Ash is what I'm thinking. And when do we Banish? Brand could Banish back row. Ooh, Triple Tactics Talent after using Liss to negate the Ash. Are we taking control of the Mowork? Potentially, maybe. Let's see, Diablo Star and Original Sinful have not been activated yet. Now the brand could banish the Original Sinful that the Diablo Star is gonna search for. So this is actually, even though it's not really disruption, it kind of is. Triple Tactics, Talent, take control. We're gonna special summon a monster from the back row. We could summon another Mowork. You take my Mowork, I summon another one. Now, can Mowork be used against you? You have to discard a Plunder Patrol card. You don't have Plunder Patrol, so it's nothing for you. Original Search Dash. Oh, we already original this turn, so uh, looks like we're not gonna be able to do that again. So much for that. So set up into the back row. Yes, you can see there. You can only use one effect and only once that turn. So even though the brand could stop this, it doesn't need to. Yeah. And then Rix is like, hold up, my original's not activatable. What's going on here? We out. Plunder Chimera? What is going on? We have Ash. When do we Ash? Now there's a Unicorn. We have Imperm and Ash. Imperm on the Snake Eye Ash will be ideal. The Ash itself will be good on something like the original Sinful or the Ash Effect to summon from the deck, which the Imperm is already stopping. We do have the original Sinful being attempted to be negated by that Ash as it now gets finger negated. By the way, the feet version of Ash is no longer available in the shop. I spent more than 20,000 gems to get it and I only got one. Did anyone else get scammed? Polyose with that triple negate. Birth, rebirthing our fen, our unicorn back in the field. Promethean Princess will be an extra disruption. We now have four disruptions here. Making the Amblo Whale. Let's go, plus we have Ash. Can we play through five disruption? Imperm completely turning off the Apollo USA. You know, it's like maybe saving Imperm, it was for a good reason. Uh, it just fully negate the Apollo instead of having to deal with it. The problem is, they will likely probably summon an Apollo when you already have a card on the field usually. So th this is quite rare that I think that you're able to even imperm the Apollo. So we are now down to, uh, oh, we, oh, we have more disruption with the Mascarina. We have Mascarina and the Promethean Princess plus the Ash. Now we are activating right now to grab a Chimera Fusion from our deck, Quick Play Fusion. Oh, and it's gone. Oh my gosh. Ain't that something. We uh, just lost our Guardian Chimera play, which is, it's banished anyway. We can't even go into it. So no Guardian Chimera with the Chimera Fusion. What do we do? Ash negate the Ash from adding a Poplar mate. We still have Ash and Promethean Princess. So what do? If we try to search the Plunder Patrol ship, it will be negated by Ash. And if we try to special summon, it will get popped by Promethean. Yeah, we know. They're just like, get out of here. Let's do game number three. We're going first this time. Let's go. Oh gosh, well, well, no, we have negates, we're good, we're fine. Uh, hopefully cross out for Nibiru, right? Please tell me you play Nibiru. Chimera Fusion after searching for it with our Mythical Claws. Oh gosh, we, uh, even if we play Nibiru, uh-oh, okay. We are cross out designated, we're about to get Nibiru'd. Or you're about to surprise me with somehow there's a way that Chimera plays around Nibiru. 
I would love to see it. Let's see it. Anti Nibiru. We're on summon number one, summon number two. Two summons here. Claws is activating to add an illusion monster from the deck. The Chimera King of Phantom Beasts is discarding a card from the hand during the end phase. We got Kotal. Kotal is here activating to add a card that mentions Chimera Fusion. Chimera Fusion, add back from the graveyard to the hand. Get Fusion Summoning again into Summon number three. Very nice. Burfamet is now here. Burfamet is activating to do what exactly? It's going to send a card from the deck to the grave as the Burfamet reborns the Kotal from the graveyard. So we're on Summon number four. And we get Nibiru now. Damn. <laughs> well, the Burfamet and the Beast King have effects in the graveyard, right? It states that you could banish this card from the graveyard during your opponent's turn to reborn a monster from the grave. And the other one is the ability to reborn a banished monster instead. So it could summon from the grave or from the banishment pile. Let's do it. Let's make the plays. Randomly discarding Ash from the opponent's hand during the end phase. That was good. Chimera Phantom, Reborn the Burfamet. Now, it looks like we have nothing, right? But hidden in the graveyard, we got something. If you target a monster, Kota will negate. Is it a monster or any card? Target any card you control. Yes. So that's going to be a negate. And then we have the Sword Knight. If you activate a monster effect in the field, that is another negate. So double-ish negates, one of them being a targeting negate. So we kind of just have one disruption plus a finger. Do we negate that? Okay, all right. Negate the Diablo Star. Now we're just waiting on the Kotal to be activatable here. If they activate anything to target our card, we will be able to negate. But a card we controlled, not the graveyard, so that does not count. Come forth and summon. Someone summoned a barrier statue against you, a Chimera. And Believe it or not, that's actually a standard way to play the deck. Pure Chimera summoning the barrier statue. A lot of people are going to do that. Promethean Princess is non-target reborning, but we could assume that the Ash is what they wanted to summon. So finger the Ash, reborn something else instead. But now the Ash we summon from the... Wait, we had no other fire in the graveyard to even summon, so that was the only target. Oakle reborn the Ash. Ash is still finger and negated. We got Link Karibo, though, to then send it to the graveyard to summon from the deck. Flameburge. Flameburge could pu push the Burfamet into the back row. Or uh, what do we want to put in the back row instead? Huh? What into the back row? Kotal! Put that Kotal into the back row so I can target you. Burfamet that we let go to the grave is now reborning the Chimera Phantom Beast onto the field. What is activatable in the graveyard? Because you gave us a way to reborn the Phantom Beast, we can now activate the Chimera Fusion to add it back to the hand. Was that a big mistake or what? Add back to the hand here. Golden hair, discard the Chimera Fusion as soon as we just added it back. Triggering the Promethean Princess to pop the golden hair. We're gonna steal your Kotal just for an extra body on our side of the field. Sure. Come forth. Let's get to it. Flamebirds reborn, two level one fires. We are red beard and Chimera into the black beard. Now we need to be able to draw into a plunder. If we don't draw into a plunder, our plunder effects from the extra deck are no good. So I believe we want to attack first with the Blackbeard and then activate to get special summoning. That's exactly what we want to do. Liss is here. We did not draw into a plunder card, thus it's not as good, but we could try again. We have another attempt. This is really cool. Attack a Blackbeard, then put it in the back row, then reborn it, then attack again. Oh, it's only during the main phase. We cannot do that again. Ash negate, Blackbeard going into hopefully a Moark, right? Is there a Dark Monster on the graveyard? There is Link, Karibo, and Dark. So if we go into the Moark, we have our final chance to draw into a Plunder. If we draw into a Plunder, we have Monster Negate and Monster Banish. If we don't draw into a Plunder, we have nothing. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got the Negates, and we got Jord. Jord could help go into the Moark. We got plays. Let's freaking go. Plunder is back in business. Okay, return back of the deck, draw one, that's fine. Did not activate Ash as the list would negate. Heat up ready to steal a fire monster from the opposing graveyard. Trigger the Jord, add a plunder plus summon a plunder from the deck. The Whitebeard will go into the Moark for the monster negate. We're gonna use the list discard monster negate that heat up mate 
and then we still have more disruption through the white beard. White beard it up. Let's get to it. Red beard equip onto the list. All right. We did not activate the effect to summon from our back row yet, so we could summon the red beard, which can also go into the mow work. Poplar trigger. When? When are we uh, mow working? Mo mow work? Mow work? When? Now? Yes. Wait, Bran? Bran instead. Okay, are we gonna list someone red beard, red beard into mow work? Maybe. Yes. Yes. Link Rebo dodge the pop of the Promethean Princess. Did we bait the princess by summoning a Bran instead of the Moark? Because that's what it looks like. Did we summon the wrong card? Oh my gosh. Oops, right? Am I, am I wrong? We were supposed to summon Redbeard. Whitebeard already used its effect. Redbeard did not. Redbeard could go into Moark, which could discard the plunder to, to banish a monster. Whitebeard's gonna do nothing. Odds, are you in the chat? Was that a misclick or what? What happened? Flamebirds pushing the Jord into the back row. We're out of plays. We have absolutely nothing. Ain't no way this just happened. Is it over? You take my word for it? I mean, uh, look, it didn't activate. You, you can see it. it. It says it, well, you can't see it. It's actually being blocked in the chat. But uh, Whitebeard already activated. Redbeard didn't. Redbeard goes into Moark, and we would have had another banish. Z Lantis is going to be banishing the entire field here. Plus, we're gonna have a Curry Kara Divine Incarnate. Even if we had the Moark Banish, could we have really played through all this? Oh my gosh. Banish everything, reborn everything, reset that card. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't end it here. Uh, Rixia, what the heck are you doing? Are you beating up on a Plunder Chimera deck? Whitebeard trigger summoned from the deck. Are we out of Redbeards? How many Redbeards do you play? Probably just one. One red beard, we couldn't summon the, another one from the deck. Mascarina, no, <laughs> we did not end the game. Chimera King of the Phantom Beast is gonna be reborning a beast from the grave, or uh, any, not just a beast. I told you the red beard was activatable, I told you. Moark. I, I don't know why we didn't have this earlier. I, I think we just misclicked. The plunders, all they do all look quite similar, despite their beards being different colors. So that could have been the issue. All right, monster banish, discard the shipyard, banish a card. Now, do we search if we don't actually get to banish? Let's read that. It says, banish it, then add. You didn't banish it, so you don't then get to add. That actually is kind of uh, not good for us. We really wanted to plus a card. That is unfortunate. So that Link Rebo did do something. Wait, what did you banish? Oh, wait, you targeted Mascarina. Okay, you weren't targeting the card that Link Rebo jumped off, so you didn't stop the banishment. We did banish the Mascarina. We did get the search, so that was good. We just chose the Link Rebo then to confuse me. Plunder Patrol Ship, add back a back row equipped monster to then add itself back onto the field. Discard the newly added shipyard to add the, what the heck, I'm not familiar with that card. Fusion Summon? What the? Huh? Magnum Reliever. Brand new card just came out in March. If a card is activated, including your own card, you could then target any card on the field and destroy it. So we could do it in response to our Whitebeard being triggered or the Divine Temple being triggered. Chain activates. Pop the field spell, stop it from reborning from the back row. Be gone. Now Whitebeard gets summoning from the deck here. Whitebeard and Redbeard can only summon a monster from the extra deck during the opponent's turn. It's the Blackbeard that's usable on either turn. And the Blackbeard draws a card after performing that play, which you really need to draw into a Plunder here. Not a Plunder, but we got Kotal instead. Kotal activates, add a Chimera Fusion monster. Mythical Claws, add the Chimera Fusion, only activatable in the main phase. Reborn the Blackbeard with another attempt to draw into a Plunder during the next turn. Amblo Whale is being triggered to pop a card in the field non-target. Are we running out of cards in our extra deck? We only have five cards left. We could summon a Moark or a Bran, but it's not activatable unless we draw right now. Because you're using an effect to draw, negate the whole effect. No summon from the extra deck. Thus, we just have Reliever. If a card's activated, we could pop a card in the field, and that's all we have. Do we pop the Birth? No. Wait, 
you you don't get to pop for free. You have to banish a fusion spell from your grave. I don't think we have another fusion spell in the grave. Wait, isn't this one? Plunder Patrol doesn't say fusion in its name. Uh-oh, that does not work. We don't have another Chimera fusion? No, we don't. We got nothing. But we have the Chimera fusion on the fields. But we can't summon Chimera Guardian to get it in the graveyard to make the reliever activatable because we have no monster in the hand, which we would have drawn into if the Blackbeard did not get negated by the Ash. We're screwed. We had double disruption. We had Guardian Chimera, had we drawn into a monster. We had Book of Eclipse. Okay, Shipyard, add back into the action deck, put itself back onto the field. This could discard any card to add a plunder card. We're then uh, birth controlling our graveyard. Oh my gosh, we just lost Black Eyes, Golden Hair, and Golden Hair. We've got Whitebeard to our hand here. Reliever quite large at 2,800 attack. With Whitebeard, we are going to be able to summon a monster from the extra deck, but uh, we have nothing to discard. But it's Jord. Jord will give us something to discard if your opponent special summons, which they're doing right now. Trigger the Jord. Yes, and summon from the deck a red or white beard if we still have one in the deck, but we have 13 cards left. I think we're out of juice. <gasps> oh, no, that's not that's the wrong one. Uh, that's the thing without a beard, right? She does not have a beard. Uh, but we're out. Uh, it's not that we misplayed. We're, we're out of beards. There's no more beards to summon. And the reliever is not activatable because we don't have the Chimera fusion on the field in the grave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the end of Chimera. At the end of the battle phase, Link Karibo is here. How do we get Chimera fusion spell into the grave? We got to get into the grave. Maybe we could fusion summon after this. We have two. We could discard it. Oh, reliever, right when it was about to be activatable, is now getting banished by the Fenrir. If we even have a plunder to search for by discarding the Chimera Fusion, which we may not even have. Golden, oh, there, Golden Hair was another way to get the Chimera Fusion into the graveyard here. Mowork with the Shipyard. Discard, banish a monster. Goodbye to that Fenrir, which will uh, be back on the field next turn through the birth. Okay. And uh, we had no more cards to search for our deck. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we're out. And we weren't uh, equipped to the Plunder Patrol. So we do not even have a quick effect to discard a plunder, even if we had one in the hand. Yeah, uh, it, it, you know, it's... We went through everything. We have one card left in the action deck. We have just a drag eye. It took everything for Snake Eyes to beat Chimera Plunder. Ten cards left in the deck. One drag eye left. Isn't there the Plunder Patrol booty trap that uh, helps recycle some of your cards? I, I'm not sure if we're playing that. Goddess is here with the ability to negate and effect a special summon from the grave. Rixia finally ending this duel, taking Chimera Plunder Patrol out of the tournament. How dare you? Good job to both players. Thank you. We have Tier Limit in the top 16 versus Live Twin. Now, the Live Twin deck is a simple 40 card. Swashi Senpai, don't you generally play 60 card Chaos Live Twin? We're now going back to the sprites. Triple monster negates. Very well done. What are our disruptions? We have the Fenrir, banish a face of card, face down. We then have Baron to floor. We have Apollo say triple negate, five disruptions. But we have double impermanence to negate two of them. Negate Apollo, Baron to floor, negate the negate. We're now down to four disruptions, mate. Imperm again, then we only have Fenrir. Yup. Ooh, Baron to floor hopping off. Should we have played around that? Maybe waited till the main phase for our impermanences. Not that big of a deal. Imperm on the Fenrir. We're leaving up the Apollo USA triple monster negate instead. Real. That's really interesting. Two negates left as we negate the Kisa Kill on summon. Special summon the Leela Treat. We got the Sunny Snitch grabbing another live twin from the deck. Special summoning it onto the field. Our Frost and Treat now making a Leela. Leela reborn from the graveyard or... Oh, wait. What the heck is it targeting it with? It's activating to... If this card special summon you control a Kisa Kill, it does have that effect. It does not need to be the Link Twin. We are popping that Apollo. The Apollo wasn't made with a Mascarina. It was made with Cross Sheep. Negate. 
the effect to pop me. Battle phase we go, barely big enough to wipe her out so we could main phase two. Make some more plays. Gigantic Sprite. It's time for plan B. Sprite Jet from the deck. Search our deck for the Sprite Starter. If he gets Ash or Veilard, he loses the Fenrir. Okay. We are then blue grabbing the red. Shokan this up into Sprite Elf. Elf reborn from the graveyard. That's right, Elf is not banned yet. Leela reborn, a Kisa kill if you don't already have one on the field, making the evil twin Kisa kill, which will then be reborning our Leela again. We're locked into level link two only, so we're not gonna be able to make the uh, bigger one. Unchained Soul, Lord of Yama, we are playing Unchained. How do we have room for this? Abominable Unchained Soul, not searching for a Shavara, which would not have been summonable. Are, are you, 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 you're just playing Abominable Unchained Soul? That, that's techable, we just play that? That's worth it, is it? And we have the Soul Rage. So we get link up with the opponent's special summon monster. We can negate a monster effect. If any of our cards are destroyed, we could special summon the Unchained Soul Abominable to then pop a card in the field. And let's go. Soul of Rage linking off of the Fenrir, as we said, into... What are you doing? Super producer? Huh? What does that do? I I'll look at it when it actually does something. It's doing something. What are you doing? Quick effect, pop a card you control, then place something in your pendulum zone or your field zone. Is it just to trigger the Yama? What? Abominable Unchained, come forth and summon. You're popping your own card to trigger the Abominable Unchained and the Yama. Yama reborn from the grave. He's a kill, which is a fiend. Reborn, if this is a wild deck and it's only 40 cards. Discard on summon, wiping out the right card. Wow, we do have quick effect to pop a card in the field now, so we have more disruption through that play. Stealing the sprite red, popping the red, Kisa kill, reborn the Leela. Leela triggered a pop a card in the field. Get popping. As we take out the Vsauce Starfrost, yes? Yes, that indeed, wipe it out. Scareclaw, cash Tira, banish from the graveyard to summon here. And what else do we have? I think we're out of disruption completely. There are no more plays to be had. Astralad on summon, wiping out the Sprite Elf. To battle we go. Goodbye to the Leela. We are going to be using the Leela Treat, though, to reduce the opposing Astralad after that battle destruction. And let's get to it. We really did that. Wait, so this is optional to do something. Destroy a face-up card you control. You can then apply the effect that we don't apply. We are just popping our own card on purpose to not even apply the rest of the effect. That is crazy. To battle we go. Goodbye to that Astraloud. Wait, Astraloud protected from battle destruction? Is that part of the effect? Whoa, what was that? Cannot, it's part of the main effect. Cannot be destroyed in battle. Elf reborn from the graveyard. Kisa kill. Kisa kill. Reborn to Leela. Leela activate. Pop a card in the fields. Let's get to it. Cross out designate to thin out the deck. Let's not want to draw. Wow. Just to get Kisa kill in the graveyard. We're going to negate your cross out designate as you're just trying to thin out your deck to then reborn the Kisa kill to draw another card. Swasi Senpai, you are wild. You are out of control. What the heck is going on in this duel? You are trying to cross out designate Maxi. We then draw into Maxi. Yama again? Well, we probably don't play another unchained monster, but you don't need to. Yama recycles the unchained in the graveyard back to our hand. We got him back. Wow. I, has anyone played their deck like this? I, I got to look on to Yu-Gi-Oh! meta if people were playing unchained A-bomb like this. What the heck? Leela reborn, popping the vicious ash loud. Elf reborn, the blue. We have carrot negates. We have a bondable unchained off of a destruction to summon and pop a card in the fields. We're gonna carrot negate that field spell pop because there's a bunch of uh, monsters in defense right now. Only Johan, welcome, my friend. We scooping. We are scooping. That is the scoop as we try to reborn the key skill back onto the field to then draw a card. Wow. He just knows how to read. Maxi in the draw phase, playing around triple tactics, talent, Ash negates that Maxi. We have some plays here. Let's see what we could do. 
primitive planet, grabbing our Vsauce Starfrost, summon our ball, pop the ball, reborn a ball from the deck. Come forth. And with the ball and Starfrost, we're gonna make an Amaterra. Amaterra, search our deck for any Vsauce spell or trap or any car, uh, spell or trap that mentions Vsauce Starfrost. Imperm negate that search. We could then arrival, reborn the Vsauce and then do what? Wow, completely shut down their turn. They just have an impermanence and nothing else. Hey, there's our A-bomb, Unchained Soul. Kisa Kill, get negated, but Sunny Snitch will search for the other one that could special summon alongside it. So not that big of a deal. Let's get searching as long as we don't play that into the imperm row. We got the treat. If there's a Kisa Kill, special summon the treat. And now let's pop off into Gigantic Sprite. Gigantic Sprite summoning from the deck, locking both players into level two, rank two, so you would not be able to Nibiru. Blue search Jet, Jet search for our burst. We bursting for game. Making our Sprite Elf. Elf reborn from the grave, our treat. Treat and Jet make Leela. Leela reborn Kisa Kill. Kisa Kill and Leela make an evil twin Kisa Kill. Evil twin Kisa Kill reborn the Leela evil twin. Activate to pop a card in the fields. Is this game with burst? No, it is. 7,800 damage slightly off from lethal. We did not have enough, but almost there. 200 life left. Wow. Let's see, wait, wait, wait. Isn't snitch like game over? If you, if your opponent summons a monster, they die. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Lethal damage. <laughs> Perfectly leaving them at 200 for the snitch for game. Very well done, Swassi Senpai, advancing to the top eight. Oh boy, what do we have here? We have a hero lives in our opening hand versus no, well, uh, Hopness is disruption if they mill something that's triggerable in the grave, we'll see. But we could Ash the Hovness and uh, maybe we'll be good from there. Let's go. And Mash Chain should straight up just crush Tier Lament by making the Dark Law. Any card sent to the graveyard will be banished instead. Where's that Dark Law? Right over there. This is it. This is instant win. Can we beat Dark Law? Foolish Burial sending the Mist. Mist is going to be searching our deck for a Ferris. We're trying to fish out for some disruptions here. Just checking out the hand traps here. Stratos on summon with the hero lives. Chain the Hovness. Ash negate. As we said, mate, now let's perform full turn one hero combo. Let's speed this up. This is going to be, uh, how many disruptions can we end on? And uh, yeah, so it's going to be double disruption, as I said, plus the DPE, uh, plus the Dark Law. So pop a card and the favorite contact will be per different attribute on the field, we're gonna pop that many cards. It's not on that card, it's on the card we're summoning. This is the one, the shining. This is, uh, it's non-targeting pop also. So non-target pop multiple cards, non-target pop one card, and any card sent to the grave will be banished, plus we have Ash. And uh, you know, the Honest Neos could boost us, that could be something. You're gonna send a card from the deck to the grave. Well, we're gonna ensure that that card is banished instead. Do we Ash negate the max C? Because we're gonna special summon at least two times this turn. So we're not negating Pot of Greed with our Ash. We're holding on to negating something better, maybe. Banishing the Tier Limit Cash Tira. Wonder Driver being triggered. Dark Law because you added a card to your hand to the max C. We're gonna randomly banish a card from your hand right now. Hobness will special summon but it's not a level four to make a rank four Xyz into a Zeus play. We just lost our Fairy Tale Snow. Randomly banished off the top of our deck here. We still have our two pops. Two pop, do we pop now? We're popping now. If we did not pop, well, what was this gonna do? Like a Black Rose Dragon? There's no way. There is a, oh my God, that's a Black Rose Dragon. Yes, we just stopped Black Rose Dragon. Shining Neos Wingman, get poppin'. Wipe up that field, stop in that play. We're still drawing for the max C, but it does not matter. Even under max C, Heroes with Dark Law comes out on top, taking game number one. And I incorrectly had the score. I'm very sorry about that. Boom, one.
field spell, grabbing our tier lament rhino, not using imperm. We're gonna save it for the kid Kalos, which I believe is much better for your impermanence. But I think that it is correct to use your field spell to pop your kid cow to play around impermanence, especially a Mastodon where you could feel the delay. They're very likely you activated Rhino and you felt their you saw their field light up. Exactly. Correct. Played around Imperm correctly. Saw the field light up, signifying that they had something activatable. You can't fake that in Mastodol. It means they have something. We get that mill five in search. Grab the Sullyak with the search after the mill five. And uh, we are getting the, uh, no, we grabbed it with the Scream. So we uh, grabbed the Tier Limit Cash Tira, actually. And we added a Sharon. Sharon and Scream added the Sullyak for the Monster Negate. We now have the Trick Clown when randomly milled, reborns from the graveyard, or if it's just sent to the graveyard, you could discard it. We also have our Distrutto, making a Shooting Riser Dragon, which is a good way to get the Fairytale Snow into the graveyard. So we're gonna Imperm Negate that. We do not want you getting Fairy Tale Snow, extra disruption into the grave, continually resummonable. Yep, no snow in the grave right now. That was the way. What are our disruptions? We have permanently negate a monster, plus trigger a fusion, plus ash, plus field spell pop a card, plus that's it. Just uh, what was that? Use negate pop ash for disruptions. Let's go. A hero lives. Ash negate. Now, Hero Lives is not a hard once per turn activation. We can activate another if we had another copy, but we do not. Now down to three disruption here. Focus. Fusion Destiny. Since we ate that Ash with our Hero Lives, we can follow up with a DPE non-target pop. Non-target pop the Sully, stopping it from performing a Fusion Summon. That will stop one of the disruptions. Also stops the Negate itself. So, uh, I mean, that stops everything. The, the, all of these disruptions are dependent on fusion summoning in the Sullyak. So if we just chain pop, the, we have locked down the next three disruptions with one DPE. We're good. So they don't have anything. DPE pop, can't trigger the field spell, ch can't trigger the fusion. So nada, gone, zero, zero disruption. Sullyak will be searching maybe for a Havnis, which could be more disruption. Huh? Is Havnis all in your grave? Havnis is limited to one and she's in the grave. Unfreaking believable. Wow. They should maybe loosen the limits a little bit, maybe. Buy in, banish in the graveyard, grabbing, polymerization. It's now time to get polymerizing. Three, Trinity! No way! Triple attack, vision hero, Trinity. 5,000 attack, draw two, discard. You discarded Honest Neos, you're DQ'd. Attack number one, attack two, Trinity Crush. Damn, Ziad is a hero. How could you discard Honest Neos? Unfreaking believable. But boost, 2,500 until the end of the turn. Good job, Ziad with the 2-0. Thank you, YouTube, for watching the top 16. And the next video will be the top eight grand finale and top deck list. Let's go.